The Netherlands has long been associated with beautiful tulips and large windmills. However, the thing that people in the country are most proud of is their history of their fight against the ocean. The stubborn and determined Hollanders carry forward the monumental task of rewinning the land from their age-old enemy, the sea. Going into the 21st century, the threat of floods from the North Sea is now under control. However, another kind of flood is on the rise. A cyber flood. We are seeing a rise in DDoS attacks being used to disguise financial crime. Vous confirme uh, effectivement qu'il y a eu une attaque sur les, les services informatiques de Bercy. The data rates of these attacks have increased dramatically from where they used to be. March 2013 saw some severe internet attacks which got people talking about DDoS again. The DDoSs itself are growing very rapidly, not only in volumes, but also in the number of attacks itself. The problem of DDoS attacks is growing month over month, and it's not something that an ISP can mitigate himself. Last year, we saw quite an increase in the number and size of denial of service attacks on the Dutch infrastructure. So uh, DDoS became a public knowledge, public problem for even customers of banks, and so Earlier it was just uh, an ICT problem, but now it's a problem for the business itself. Banks and governmental institutes uh, suffered attacks and that meant that those uh, organizations were not available on the internet. Especially banks, you can't do any financial transactions. If you have problems with DDoSes and, and your websites are not reachable, then uh, also your reputation is a problem. An ISP that is actually unreachable and the network is down because of a DDoS attack that costs a lot of money. It must range from tens of thousands of euros per hour, at least, sometimes even more. The faster you can respond to DDoS attacks, the cheaper it is for a business, the less they lose. So in, in a sense, having a good DDoS uh, mitigation facility is essential for many companies. A few years ago, you could take down a site with only a gigabit of traffic. Now we see attacks of hundreds of gigabits. We see the demand for large volume protection so we have to be expandable, we have to be fast, and we have to be clever in uh, mitigating DDoS attacks. It's important to have the best solution that we can handle, let's say, the, the most difficult uh, DDoS attacks there are. The volumetric DDoS attacks, but also more the sophisticated, like the slow attacks. Your solution that you are going to offer must be able to handle both of those uh, problems. Last year we designed the National Scrubbing Center against DDoS attacks and we selected Huawei as prime supplier of anti-DDoS equipment. The National Scrubbing Center was originally an idea we had last year and we started to test several solutions. Beginning of uh, 2014, we had a proof of concept. We invited uh, several anti-DDoS vendors to give us their equipment so that we could test it. Uh, we were looking for a solution that could handle large volumes that could be used in an offline mode as we call it a fireman's approach. So it's usually standing there ready to be used. The solution had to be fast, it had to be easily manageable, it had to be a great GUI and great management capabilities. And Huawei's solution proved to be, well, exactly what we were looking for. It's, it's all urgent now, but it was urgent earlier. It will be even more urgent. So you should know how to uh, mitigate the, the future attacks. Much like the Netherlands dams now protect the country's land, people and economy, Huawei's anti-DDoS solution protects businesses, their employees and customers, in turn helping businesses to prosper. <laughs>